Okay, what's going on, guys? So we are here, finally, if I was Black Tom McDonald. And I already know, I already know that he's gonna say some stuff in here that's not gonna make a lot of people happy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I want to hear it nonetheless. Listen, I don't judge. I already, from the type of artist, I know there's gonna be some sort of spin on this. Um, so... You know, I just want to hear hear him out and hear what he has to say. He deserves that much. I think an artist like this deserves attention because he's bringing to the forefront a lot of issues that needs to be addressed that every that a lot of people is afraid to talk about. N me not being one of them. But anyways, let's do this, man. It was w well overdue. Let's do this. If I was black by Tom McDonald, let's do this. If I was black, probably wouldn't with anyone who's white Cause that slavery would honestly always be on my mind If I was black, probably wouldn't ever want to drive Cause if police pull me over, I might go around and die If I was black, I won't lie, I'd be scared to walk at night The whole neighborhood is tripping like I'm out committing crimes I'd be pissed at all these cracker rappers singing about my life Stole my music, stole my style, give it back, that is mine If I was black, just look at the facts, we don't stand a chance One in three is locked away, over half don't know they dead See, why? White privilege and a money thing, but it's white people who are running things. Y'all benefit from your coloring. My pigment produce suffering. It's all white pride, Isn't white that, power, white lives. White. That, that's the same guy from the the white boy song, right? It's the same black guy. Let's pull that back, cause I want to hear what he's saying on this track, man. I really do. Night. The whole neighborhood is tripping like I'm out committing crimes I'd be pissed at all these cracker rappers singing about my life Stole my music, stole my style, give it back, that is mine If I was black, just look at the facts, we don't stand a chance One in three is locked away, over half don't know they dead See white privilege and a money thing, but it's white people who are running things Y'all benefit from your coloring, my pigment produce suffering It's all white pride, white power, white lies, white houses, white guys, white washing My brothers, my sisters, my culture while I'm watching If I was black I'd probably hate myself from they say racism made me racist and I am not the one to blame Hey, y'all won't say it to my face in the circles. You feel safe Y'all been using words they made for us when we were slaves. Hey, hey, wait, whoa I know that was long ago if I was black. I want my reparation money paid if I was black I'd take the police. I'd take the whole clan. I'd put holes in their sheets If I was black, I'd put gold on my teeth. So if you think I'm broke, you will know when I speak if I was black, it's my face on a T, R.I.P. underneath, or my name next to free. If I was black, I would die in these streets just to speak in my mind because I had a dream. If I was black, if I was black, probably wouldn't ever do my taxes. Why support a government to persecute my blackness? Or pay to wage a law enforcement putting us in caskets? Or help to build the prisons that we trapped in? If I was black, I'd be mad. People glorify the trap while we dying every day, fighting for everything we have. It ain't diamond chains of racks. This is systematic plan. They put us in the ghetto, gave us HIV and crack. If I was black, I'd hate America, appropriate my character, and sell it to Caucasians who wish they were from my area. If I was black, I wouldn't give a fuck about the greater good. My grandma can't afford a rent. Y'all gentrified our neighborhood. Our lives matter, so stupid. Y'all hijacking our movement. Black lives matter, cause we lose it. Innocent youth, the police shootings. If I was black, the only role models I'm shown is the rich black rappers pushing guns and drugs and hoes. Yeah, hey, y'all won't True. say it to my face. In the circles, you feel safe. Y'all been using words they made for us when we were slaves. Hey, hey, wait, whoa. I know that was long ago. If I was black, I'd want my reparation money paid. If I was black, I'd take the police, I'd take the whole clan, I'd put holes in their sheets. If I was black, I put gold on my teeth So if you think I'm broke, you will know when I speak If I was black, it's my face on a T R.I.P. underneath, on my name next to free If I was black, I would die in these streets Just to speak in my mind because I had a dream if I was black, you'd attack when I say I'm proud Cause you're mad that you ain't allowed If I was black Y'all ever tried to take me down One fist in the air I would stay my ground If I was black I'd take the police I'd take the whole clan I'd put holes in their sheets If I was black I'd put gold on my teeth So if you think I'm broke You will know when I speak If I was black It's my face on a T R.I.P. underneath On my name next to free If I was mm. black I would die in these streets Just to speak in my mind Because I had a dream I was black. Oh, 
I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it because obviously that's the reason why you guys wanted me to react to this song to hear my thoughts on it. Um, obviously, he show through this song he's showing his support. Um, he's showing his support because, you know, when it comes on to all of these issues, they, there are issues that. These are things that we do, things that people argue about. Um, the movement Black Lives Matter, you know, it started out as a good thing. I don't, uh, in my opinion, now it's not really that great because every good movement, they always started, they always start out great. Let's just be honest about it. They start out great. I could give you examples like the Me Too movement started out great. I was supporting it and then it became a problem just like this just like the, the the black lives matter um i think the agenda i think the core values of it is not it's not the same anymore um i do think that when people come out and say all lives matter it's a bit of a stretch you know what i'm saying like it's kind of like kind of throwing it back in you know the protesters face because it's not it's really not what they're trying to say it's really not what we are trying to say, you get what I'm saying when it comes on to that movement of saying that black lives matter. The the movement was basically to get people to realize that is not that we're saying that white people and other races are not being gunned down in the street by cops. We're saying that this is happening too often to black people most of all. So, you know what I'm saying? Um you know, I listen to other things that, you know, that other people are saying, I look at statistics because a lot of times, you know, people will be over the top over certain things and they make it seem like, oh, this is the only stat statistic that matter when really and truly there's so much more underneath it that you're not looking at. You get what I'm saying? It's, it, it's just like how when, um, when women say, I give you guys a perfect example, when women say that they need, you know, the wage gap, right? The, 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 the wage gap that exists, which I've already told you guys in terms that I believe it's a myth. I don't believe it exists. And that's based on my experience, right? I don't believe it exists. I believe that this is just another agenda for them to push. Maybe back in the day, this was something that exists, but I really don't think that it's something that exists. When I see, when, when I see women doing certain kind of jobs, I will start to say, okay, maybe things need to change. But there's certain things that women gets away with in the workplace that men cannot get away with. Men stay on jobs later than, than women do statistically. That has proven to be true. They go to work earlier than than women do. When women have kids, they, they most of them stay at home. They get maternity leave. They get all of this other stuff, stuff that men do not get. Okay. Um, so there's, there's so many avenues and factions that you have to look into too. Also, if you're going to look at it from an individual perspective or from a certain group perspective, black people, black women get less paid than white women. So there's a whole lot of stuff that you can look into and pick fault and pick it apart and do all of this other stuff. And there's so many issues that need to be dealt with. You get what I'm saying? And I'm all for it. I'm all for fixing the problems, identifying the problem. But when you single yourself out as a specific group and stuff, most of the time, nothing happens. No change is made. And if there is a change, it always being the worst. And that's why I say there needs to be a collective of everybody coming together to change things not just a particular group of people. And I know it sounds weird and I know it probably will never happen because you're going to always have people saying this and that and whatever. But I do understand where Tom is coming from, showing his support and understanding that, you, you know, the, the black plight, as they call it, the plight of black people and all of this other stuff. And not that that stuff don't resonate with me. I just think things would go so much better if we understand things from everybody's perspective and not just a particular group of people, we are all the human race. We are not just black people. We're not just white people. We're not just Asians. 
We're not just Latinos. We we are a human race and media and the world as segregators for too long and we need to change that we need to change that narrative how will we change that it's not going to change by black people sitting in one corner white people sitting in another corner you know asians sitting in another corner and latinos sitting in the other it's not going to change like that guys we need a collective of people of understanding that you know what i'm saying that we need a whole we need a representation I hate when a bunch of black people sit down to talk and they have nobody in the room to 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 um to give you a perspective from that person that they're talking about. Like the other day I was watching something um I was watching this um thing on YouTube where it was just a bunch of black people sitting around talking about if it's okay if 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 it's okay, you know, ever for white people to say the n-word and you you guys already know my stance on this you know when it comes on to that word you know what i'm saying when it comes on to that word i use it um my i i'm not allowing my white friends to use it i just don't get mad when they say it it's not an allowance thing they they're free to say it you understand what i'm saying um, the people that don't understand the negative stigma behind using the ER, the people that don't understand that, they need a wake-up call. You get what I'm saying? There is a thing that you can turn a negative into a positive. You get what I'm saying? Which is what black people have done to the to the, the classic N-word, the one with the, the hard ER. They have turned it into something positive for themselves to call themselves brothers and friends. Okay? It has nothing to do with our speech. It has nothing to do with how we say things. It has nothing to do with that. It is a conscious choice that they've made over the years to say nigga. It ain't. You get what I'm saying? So, there was a comment on the channel that said that. And I, I ignored it. I left it there, but I ignored it. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I think that is very ignorant of that person. I'm just saying that. Um, to, to, to think that it's because of how we talk, why it turns out to be nigger. No, it's two different meanings, my friend. Two different meanings. There's a reason why we don't say nigger and we say nigger. There's a reason. Get it right and understand. Now, having a conversation like that amongst just black people is not cool. Because then you don't have anybody there to provide the perspective and to have a conversation, debatable conversation from the perspective of the person you're talking about. Because you're talking about, is it okay for white people to say the N-word, right? To say nigga, not nigger, nigga. Is it okay for them to say it? In my opinion, yes, I don't care. A lot of people, they take offense to it. Most, A lot of black people, they take offense to it. They don't think they're supposed to say it at all um, because, oh, that word is for us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> but anyways, um, I don't know when we proclaim ownership over words. The only word that we have ownership to is our names. Okay. It's the only one. The only word that we can claim ownership of. The only one is our name. That's the only one, guys. It's the only one that we can claim undisputable ownership of. Okay? I don't see what the big deal is if we're using it. If we're calling ours, we're using it as a word to describe, to call our brothers and our sisters or whatever the situation is. I don't see why if me, me and another white guy is wrapping it up, he can't say, yo, my nigga was good. Why can't he do that? I don't get it. And I will never get it because I will never. No matter how many times people explain it to me, I'm like, nah, it's a double standard that you need to forget about. It's it's stupid. It's just a word. It has a meaning and they could use it as long as they're not using the one with the ER because they understand where the negative connotation comes with that. They're fine. If they use the one with the ER, correct them because they might not know. They might be saying it wrong. 
You get what I'm saying? So don't just go off the bed. Oh my God, they said the hand word. Nah, I'm not into that stuff. Anyways, um, you guys understand my stance on certain things, man. I like that Tom did a video like this. He obviously, you know, using this song to kind of support black people and what they stand for, the things that they've, you know, cried out for over the years, you know, cops killing black people, all of this, all of this stuff, the, the Black Lives Matter movement, um, you know, you, you know, as I said, Black Lives Matter movement is not a protest against all lives. It is not. So for when they came out with that, I was like, that's just kind of demeaning <laughs> and just kind of putting the whole thing down that, you know, black people is trying to cry about, you, you know what I'm saying? And to cry out about, let me not say cry about because we're going to be like, oh, you said cry about. No, cry out about. Okay. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. That's my stance on that. Always got to elaborate on his songs because they're very controversial. But anyways, man, shout out to Tom. Thanks for, so thanks for showing that support, man. Um, you know, just to let people know that you don't have no ill will towards them because a lot of, you know, and I can see even this, that uh, probably white people would have a lot of problems with. But anyways, man, thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. You may agree or disagree with me. I might not have got my thoughts out the way I wanted to, but I tried my best to eloquently explain what I was trying to say. Okay, so you might love it. You might hate it, whatever. These are all one shots I'm doing today. Not planning to edit any of this. So, hey, if I have to clarify something, I will. Okay, but anyway, thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.